In this module on Chapter 3, Concerned with Mortality, Module 3.4, I derive an empirical mortality model that lays down both the conceptual and analytical foundations for the derivation of many of the most important mortality models in demography. Consider this graph of U.S. female mortality in 2000, with age on the x-axis and age-specific mortality qx on the y-axis. It is clear from this graph that there is a distinct regularity in the rate of change with age and mortality. When we plot this rate of change as the ratio of qx plus 1 to qx over all ages, we see first that it is highly irregular from birth through around age 25 or 30. However, from roughly 30 through uh, 90 years of age, it is remarkably constant. In fact, the ratio is roughly 1.08, or 8% change per year. By taking a close look at mortality at each age, from 70 through 75, as shown in the second column of this table, we see that the ratios of mortality for 71 to 70, 72 to 71, 73 to 72, and so forth, are all very close to 1.08, that we will define as lambda for reasons that will be clear shortly. In other words, we can predict with a high degree of accuracy the mortality of one age using the product of 1.08 and the mortality at the previous age. Given that we have identified the constancy of change in mortality with age, we can derive a mortality model from this information. Note that since mortality at age 71 equals lambda times mortality at age 70, and mortality at age 72 equals lambda times mortality at 71, by substituting lambda Q70 for Q71, we find that Q72 equals lambda Q70 times itself. In other words, Q72 equals Q70 times lambda squared. By defining Q70 as the initial level of mortality, this model can be generalized as qx equal lambda raised to the power x. In words, this model states that mortality at age x is the product of the initial level of mortality and the rate of change in mortality raised to the x power. By setting lambda equal to e to the b, this model can be expressed in continuous form as what is known as the Gompertz model. This is one of the most important mortality models in demography. This ends Module 3.4, but sets the stage for Module 3.5, where I describe a number of different mortality models used in demography, including the Gompertz model.